Hello Grade 3 learners, parents, and teachers. Welcome to Teachers Free, your learning partner that makes science exciting, meaningful and absolutely free for everyone. We're thrilled to bring you the Grade 3 Science Second Periodical Test Quick Concept Reviewer, your handy partner to help you remember key ideas, review important lessons, and build confidence before the big test. How can you use it? You can listen and learn as each question and answer is read aloud, perfect for a quick review anytime, anywhere. Or make it even more fun, pause after each question, try answering on your own, and then check if you got it right. Think of it as your very own science quiz show where learning and fun go hand in hand. So, Grade 3 Science Explorers, get ready to dive into this exciting review adventure. Let's discover together how wonderful and amazing science can be. Question 1. What part of the eye controls the amount of light entering it? Answer. Pupil. The pupil adjusts its size to let in more or less light. It helps the eyes see clearly under different lighting conditions. Question 2. What thin clear layer covers and protects the front part of the eye? Answer. Cornea. The cornea is a transparent dome-shaped surface that focuses light into the eye. It acts as the eye's outermost lens. Question 3. What part of the ear helps maintain balance? Answer. Inner ear. The inner ear contains the semicircular canals that detect movement. It helps you stay balanced and upright. Question 4. What sense organ detects sweet, salty, sour, and bitter tastes? Answer. Tongue. The tongue has taste buds that recognize different flavors. Each region of the tongue senses a specific taste. Question 5. What is the largest organ of the human body? Answer. Skin. The skin covers and protects the body. It helps control body temperature and prevents germs from entering. Question 6. What do we call the natural home or environment of an animal? Answer. Habitat. A habitat is the place where an animal lives and finds its food, water, and shelter. It provides the needs for survival. Question 7. What type of animal lives both on land and in water? Answer. Amphibian. Amphibians such as frogs can live on land and in water. They breathe through lungs and skin. Question 8. What kind of animals usually have scales and lay eggs? Answer. Reptiles. Reptiles like snakes and lizards have dry scaly skin. They lay eggs on land. Question 9. What is the body covering of a bird? Answer. Feathers. Feathers protect the bird's body and help it fly. They also keep the bird warm. Question 10. What is the term for animals that can be kept at home for companionship? Answer. Pets. Pets are animals like cats and dogs that live with people. They provide company and comfort to humans. Question 11. What body parts do fish use to swim? Answer. Fins and tail. Fish move in water by using their fins and tail. These parts help them steer and balance while swimming. Question 12. What body parts help birds to fly? Answer. Wings. Wings are specialized limbs used by birds for flying. They have strong muscles that move the wings up and down. Question 13. What body covering protects reptiles? Answer. Scales. Scales prevent reptiles from drying out. They also serve as armor to protect their body. Question 14. What do cows, goats and horses use to walk and run? Answer. Legs. Legs allow land animals to move from one place to another. They are used for walking, running, or jumping. Question 15. What body parts do frogs use to jump? Answer. Hind legs. Frogs have long and strong hind legs. These allow them to leap great distances. Question 16. What part of the plant absorbs water and nutrients from the soil? Answer. Roots. Roots anchor the plant to the ground and take in water and minerals. They are vital for the plant's growth. Question 17. What part of the plant supports it and carries water to the leaves? Answer. Stem. The stem holds the plant upright. It also transports water and nutrients from roots to other parts. Question 18. What green part of the plant makes food through photosynthesis? Answer. Leaves. Leaves use sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to make food. This process is called photosynthesis. Question 19. 
What colorful part of the plant is used for reproduction? Answer, flower. The flower contains the reproductive organs of the plant. It often attracts insects for pollination. Question 20. What part of the plant develops from the flower and contains seeds? Answer, fruit. The fruit protects and spreads the plant's seeds. It grows from the fertilized ovary of the flower. Question 21. What are things that grow, move, and reproduce called? Answer, living things. Living things can grow, move, breathe, and reproduce. They need food, air, and water to survive. Question 22. What are things that do not grow or reproduce called? Answer, non-living things. Non-living things do not need food or air. They cannot move on their own or reproduce. Question 23. What gas do humans and animals breathe in to stay alive? Answer. Oxygen. Oxygen is needed by living things for respiration. It allows cells to release energy from food. Question 24. What do plants give off during photosynthesis that animals need? Answer. Oxygen. During photosynthesis, plants release oxygen into the air. This gas is essential for breathing. Question 25. What do we call anything that has life? Answer, organism. An organism is any living thing, like a plant, animal, or person. It shows all characteristics of life. Question 26. What do we call features that offspring get from their parents? Answer, traits. Traits are characteristics like eye color or height inherited from parents. They are passed through genes. Question 27. What are examples of inherited traits in humans? Answer, eye color and hair type. Eye color and hair type are controlled by genes. These are physical features passed from parents to children. Question 28. What do we call baby animals that look like their parents? Answer, offspring. Offspring inherit physical traits from their parents. They may look similar in shape, color, or features. Question 29. What structure in cells carries inherited traits? Answer, genes. Genes are tiny units in the cell that control traits. They determine how living things look and function. Question 30. What kind of reproduction happens when offspring resemble their parents? Answer, sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction involves two parents. The offspring inherit traits from both of them. Question 31. What do we call the process by which living things produce their own kind? Answer, reproduction. Reproduction ensures the continuation of species. It allows living things to produce offspring. Question 32. What part of a plant is used in producing its own kind? Answer, seed. A seed grows into a new plant. It contains the baby plant and stored food for growth. Question 33. What body part of animals is used for movement? Answer, legs. Animals use legs for walking, running, or jumping. Movement helps them find food and escape danger. Question 34. What is the process by which animals that lay eggs produce young? Answer, oviparous reproduction. Oviparous animals lay eggs that hatch into young ones. Birds, fish, and reptiles reproduce this way. Question 35. What part of the plant helps it make more of its own kind through pollination? Answer, flower. Flowers contain pollen and ovules. Pollination allows new seeds to form. Question 36. What are the four basic needs of living things? Answer, food, water, air, and shelter. These needs are essential for all living things to survive. They provide energy, protection, and life support. Question 37. What do we call the surroundings where living things get their needs? Answer. Environment. The environment includes everything around living things. It provides food, air, water, and shelter. Question 38. What gas do plants use to make their food? Answer. Carbon dioxide. Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air during photosynthesis. It combines with sunlight and water to make food. Question 39. What energy from the sun do plants use to make food? Answer, sunlight. Sunlight provides the energy plants need for photosynthesis. It is the main source of life energy on Earth. Question 40. 
What do we call the relationship where living things depend on each other for survival? Answer. Interdependence. Interdependence means living things rely on one another for food, shelter, and balance in nature. Great job, science explorers. You've just completed our Grade 3 Science Second Periodical Test Quick Concept Review. We hope you had fun while learning and discovered how amazing science can be. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends or fellow teachers, and don't forget to subscribe for more free resources and study guides. And see you in the next video.